What'll I do when you are far away and I am blue? What'll I do when I'm Looks like Aunt Vera's been recycling again. <laughs> Many happy takeaways from everyone at the Ball and Balti ass. <laughs> Sorry? But you've never had a Balti. Well, then you'd lose your wager, cos I've had several. <laughs> I particularly recall a Captain Vitalis Kaunix, blonde, 37, in a sauna in Riga. A Balti, not Baltic. <laughs> what are you up to? Putting all your toy boys in alphabetical order? Does the name Monty Hart conjure up anything? Why? Is he a magician? <laughs> in the last fortnight, I've had three letters from his solicitors asking me to get in touch urgently. But why don't you? Oh, could be yet another messy divorce case. I mean, I've looked at all my diaries for the last 50... <laughs> 30 years. There's no mention of a Monty Hart. <sighs> October 2003. Monday the 16th. Michael in the study with handcuffs. <laughs> Tuesday the 17th, Dr David in the conservatory with a blindfold. <sighs> Your life's one long game of sex, Cluedo, isn't it? Thank you. <sighs> Wednesday the 18th, Lucian in the billiard room with baby all. Or did he go in off the cushion? <laughs> Friday the 20th. Wonder what I did on the Thursday? Maybe it was half day closing. <laughs> I sense it's time to retire to my private quarters. It's been a while since your quarters were private. <laughs> Hold on, Dora. I've got something to tell you. I'll put the house on the market. This house? No, my ski chalet in Interlaken. <laughs> of course this house. I can't stand by and watch my boy struggle anymore. I mean, at his age, Garth should have his own place. And I was so proud of Travis when he got into uni. But what's his reward? A student loan he'll still be repaying when he draws his pension. So I'm downsizing, I'm going to give them both a lump sum. Look, I'm sorry if it affects you, Dor, but you'll be all right, won't you? <laughs> of course. Really? I thought you'd be quite sad about leaving. A little, but I don't do gushing. Oh, not since you've got your new incontinence pads. <laughs> so, do the boys know about their imminent good fortune? <sighs> not yet. And what about the elephant in the room? Sharon loves Christmas. <laughs> Look, I can't go ruining her last one here. He'll have to wait till the new year. Well, you'll have to tell her. She's not a child. Jingle bells, back hands and bells. Happy ladies and eggs. Although... Oh, Dor, you will never guess. Waterstones have got a massive window display of your new cookbook. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Who wants a cookbook about mushrooms for Christmas? Seventy shades of shiitake. Here, I've treated myself to an early Christmas present. You're going to love this. It's called Ptolemy. I don't think so. It says it right there. It's as plain as the lines on your face. The P is silent, as in psychopath, Sharon. Why is it silent? But it's from the ancient Greek. They had silent peas. Well, Chris's nan certainly did. <laughs> she ruined two sets of my loose covers. So what's it do, then, this Ptolemy? Um, turn the heating on, change the telly channels, play music, even read the gas meter. If you could only teach Ptolemy to make toast, you need never get your Aris off the sofa again. <laughs> right, who wants a mince pie? I predict this is going to be our best Christmas ever. <laughs> Wait till the new year. No, no, I'm still here. I flipping love Christmas. Mm. Mm. 
No, thank you. Who would have thought there are so many Monty Hearts in the phone book? I thought you were avoiding him. I can't. I have to know what he wants. I just do not want to go through his solicitor. And you have been through a few in your time. <laughs> ah, Golda Meir Nursing Home. Yes, I'm looking for a Mr Monty Hart. Ptolemy, play I Wish It Could Be Christmas Every Day by Wizard. Billericay Tennis Club. <laughs> Why does he keep saying that? You do? No, that's fine. Goodbye. Found him. So now what? Wouldn't you like to know? Not really. Just make conversation. Right. I'm off. Have fun. Fun. Cooking 50 quid lunches for corporate tosspots who don't know their asparagus from their elbow. Oh, you sound like you've been Corbynized. That's what zero hour contracts, zero chance of owning your own home does, yeah? I can't blame him for being angry. I mean, by the time I was his age, I had my own slum. <laughs> it, Ptolemy, how can an auntie help Garthy get his own place? Billericay Tennis Club. <sighs> Travis. What? Every time I ask a question, Ptolemy says... Billericay Tennis Club. Ptolemy doesn't understand you because of your slovenly diction. Cobblers. I speak proper. That's great. The estate agent's showing a prospect round this afternoon, so if you want to make yourself scarce... Ptolemy, would you be so kind as to play I Wish It Could Be Christmas Every Day by Wizard? Billericay Tennis Club. <laughs> I'll take it back to the shop if I were you. Ptolemy, where is the best place to play tennis in Billericay? <laughs> Sorted. Told ya. Best Christmas ever. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, thanks, mate. So far today, you're my biggest fan. I don't know about that. Someone's dropped a fiver in there. Uh, the hot chestnut seller wanted change. <laughs> Can't be much fun being homeless at Christmas. It isn't. I applied to be homeless over the summer in Mallorca, but there's a waiting list. Still, looking on the bright side, I am headlining later tonight down at Primark. I'm on after Jedwood. <laughs> well, I'd love to come, but I'm working two jobs. And I'm working none. Funny, that. Hello? I'm good. I didn't think you were coming. Sorry? <laughs> Not to worry. You're here now. Um, there was no need to bring your own vacuum cleaner, Mrs Normington. I mean, the vendor is extremely house-proud. Vendor? Uh, have you not got a brochure? Not to worry. Here's a spare one. <laughs> so, as you can see, we're here in the very spacious hallway. Would you like to go upstairs? After you. Uh, do you mind taking off your shoes? Only the vendor insists. Japanese, is she? <laughs> oh, gosh. Lead on. I wouldn't want to get lost. <laughs> it took three goes, but I think I got rid of it. <laughs> I always think it's a good idea to fully test the facilities. <laughs> I might run a bath later. Uh, shall we um, go downstairs now? Hang on. I thought there was another bedroom up here. Oh, uh, it's just a box room. And uh, I should let you know that it's currently occupied by the vendor's sister. Uh, and apparently she has a few personal hygiene issues. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Now, sometimes you walk into a house and you feel at home straight away. Do you feel like you could see yourself living here, Mrs Normington? Oh, I feel as if I do already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I could come close to the asking price, though. 
Uh, well, the vendor is prepared to entertain a sensible offer. But can she be trusted? Because sometimes you think you know someone and, and then you find out that they're devious and underhand. That'll be her now. I'll just explain we're running a little bit late. Yeah, you do that. I'll have another shufti at the charming kitchen. <laughs> Hello. Oh, am I a bit early? Oh, no, Mrs Normington was late. Um, but the good news is, I think she's on the verge of making an offer. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> do you want to meet her? Yes, please. <laughs> Sharon! <laughs> Mrs Normington to you. <laughs> I believe you have a Mr. Monty Hart here. Yes. But... Yes, it's a personal matter. We go back a very long way. I just need I'm to... I'm sorry, who are you? I'm his daughter. <laughs> really? Yes, I can see the resemblance. Would you mind taking a seat? We meet. Oh, the health club. Maybe Chigua Liberal Congregation's wife swapping circle. <laughs> Perhaps it was Waitrose. Wait. Oh. Hello. This is our consultant psychiatrist, Dr. Montgomery Hart. And you, I believe, are my long lost daughter? <laughs> Sorry. Must have been mistaken. I think this lady might be a tiny bit confused, Doctor. That's right. I'm confused. It's fine. Don't worry. Most new residents experience episodes of disorientation. I am not a new resident. And denial. <laughs> How old do you think I am? Don't answer that. Take her back to her room. I'll be up soon to give her a sedative. I'm a famous novelist. I've got a cookbook out at Christmas. Don't you know who I am? No, but speak to reception and they'll be able to tell you. <laughs> you will never believe what I have just been through. You'll never guess what my darling sister has been up to behind our backs. Oh. I thought you weren't going to tell her till after Christmas. She knows! <laughs> oh. Well, of course she does. You told her first. Well, of course I did, because she's the one that's got to find somewhere else to live. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, doll. I was forgetting. You're as much a victim as I am here. You're going to put a vulnerable pensioner out on the street. <laughs> I'm not even sure that's legal. You know, you've got rights, Dor. You want to get yourself down to help the agent and talk to the manager. Yeah, thank you, Sharon. I'm quite capable of looking after my own best interests. Well, I'm prepared to consider a flat share. I'd rather sleep with Donald Trump. <laughs> Don't you add? And do the boys know yet? No point unsettling them till I've had an offer. Oh, but unsettle me, why don't you? Ah, oh, that looks lovely, boys. Well done. But we always choose the Christmas tree together. No, we don't. <laughs> bit by bit, I'm being excluded from this family. What's up? Not now, Sharon. I think the boys have a right to know. Know what? Your mum is throwing me and Dorian out. At Christmas. You can't do that, Mum. I mean, they're really old. <laughs> They'll get up and firm it. I'm not chucking them out. But I'm downsizing so I can give each of you a chunk of money. That is Mum the great. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can use it as a deposit for a flat and you can use it to pay off your student loan. Or I could leave uni, buy a motorbike and... Only kidding. <laughs> oh, well, that's lovely, isn't it, eh? Don't you worry about me. This was going to be your Christmas present, Tracy. But you can whistle for it now. Fine. 
So, what did the couple say who came round this morning? Well, they said the house had a strange atmosphere. So I've opened Sharon's window. <laughs> this reminds me of the time that I was showing houses for an estate agent, not that I needed the money, of course. You just like nosy round other people's houses. Exactly. Anyway, there was this one house in Faden Boys that simply would not shift. They dropped the price, redecorated, nothing. So in the end, the owner brought in an expert, a, a Mr. Kurihawa. I think I've got a copy of his book somewhere. Hold on. To Feng Shui. It's pronounced Feng Shui. It's all mumbo jumbo. Well, Faden boys went for over the asking price within a week. Well, tell me what to fung and I'll shui it. Right. <laughs> the most important thing is to define your bagua. Yeah, for instance, if you want to attract more prosperity, you have to introduce some wood into your southeast area. You know all about that. <laughs> Do you want me to help you? <sighs> Sorry. Right. We need to place some lush wooden elements over here. Well, why don't I move the Christmas tree? <gasps> Come help me move the sofa. <gasps> what is it, Dor? I didn't even know I'd lost this. Well, that was lucky. <gasps> More than lucky. Now I remember who Monty Hart is. <laughs> well... <laughs> Go on, then. Well, it was about 30 years ago. I met him in Peppermint Park, which was the cocktail bar to be seen in in those days, <laughs> except it was so dark you couldn't see anyone. I mean, Monty was a lot older than me, but in the flame of his Dunhill lighter, I could tell he was very... Rich? Exactly. <laughs> I agreed to go away with him for a weekend of thrills and excitement. When we got to the hotel, turns out his idea of thrills and excitement was a murder mystery weekend. He played the detective and I was cast as the corpse. <laughs> I spent most of Saturday night lying flat on my back on the hearth rug. So no acting required then? Yeah, at midnight, I discovered that Monty had drunk the hotel dry and passed out in the bath. I was incandescent. So I pinched his diamond cufflinks and hitched a ride home with a surprisingly attractive truck driver. And you forgot all of that? Well, obviously, I was traumatised. <laughs> and now the old skinflint must want his cufflinks back. Well, give them back to him. I can't. I had them made into these drop earrings. <laughs> what is that? Don't get too excited, Dor. It's a stick blender. Garfield's Christmas present. Where are you getting all this stuff from? You better not be buying hooky gear. Why do you always think the worst of me? Years of experience. <laughs> Let's be moving the furniture. Look, hang that up. I don't want your mess in here. Camilla's bringing a prospect round any minute. Who said you could use that? You said that was my Christmas present. Which I took back. Get, let, let go. But you let go. Tracy, Tracy, let go. You let go. Oh. Now look what you've done. <laughs> Oh, it's Camilla now. Look, I'll show him upstairs. You tidy up in here. Uh, Sharon doesn't live here anymore. I'll do it. Might find the other earring. <sighs> Mrs. Stubbs? <sighs> it's only the old Bill. Oh, my God. I I it's a long story, but it's me thereafter. Not necessarily. I could murder the pair of you. A potential buyer on the way. I've got the old bill on me doorstep. Well, I'm not covering for you. Whichever one of you they want, they can have. <laughs> what are you doing? Swallowing the evidence. <laughs> you don't fancy hiding this for me, do you? Sorry about that. Who is it you're after? 
Travis Stubbs? <laughs> it's not what you think, man. <laughs> I told the guys I'd catch up with them down the station. Look, Mum, I didn't know they were going to come to the house. Were you ever going to tell me? I know it must have come as a bit of a surprise. No. Jeremy Corbyn copping off with Nigel Farage is a bit of a surprise. <laughs> you joining the old bill goes against everything this family stands for. I'm a community support officer, Mum, not old bill. Which, in any case, Auntie Shao, is an outdated, class-driven, knee-jerk cliché. University has done wonders for his vocabulary, ain't Tracy? So it's a bit like a holiday job, this community support malarkey. Sort of. Till my application to join the Met's approved. The Met? The Metropolitan Police? No, the Metropolitan Opera Company of New York, Tracy. But what about uni? I don't really think it's for me, Mum. But I was so looking forward to seeing you in your hat and your cape. Cap and gown, Trace. It's a university, not a superhero convention. But what about your dad? Poor Darrell will turn in his urn. Who cares? He was a criminal and a loser. That loser paid for this house you're going to inherit. Mm, to be fair, Trace, it was a secure accord van that paid for the house he's going to inherit. Exactly. I don't want you out risking your life every time the pubs chuck out. Man's got to do. Although tonight I'm on crowd control at the Scouts Christmas bring and buy sale. <laughs> I love you, Mum. Whatever you've got to say, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Where's Simon Cowell when you need him? Oh, we stopped by earlier and tried to sign me up, but I told him to jog on. Who needs it when you've got Christmas Day in a homeless hostel to look forward to? Hungry? Constantly. <laughs> Pistachio encrusted cod, tomatoes, capers and a bunch of fancy veg. Mm. Will it keep till Christmas Day? Depends. You've got a freezer. I've got a cardboard box that used to contain a freezer. You've not got a family you can go to for Christmas? Yeah. If I want a black eye and a broken arm. <laughs> Don't worry about me, Garth. I'll survive. I think we can do a bit better than survival. Excuse me, Vicar. dodgy gear. What? With young Sherlock living under the same roof? What is it this time? It's an advanced hair removal system for Dorian. It does your legs, your pits and all your other hairy bits. You're definitely up to something. All we normally get is charity shop chuck hats. Oh. You won't be disappointed then, will you? <sighs> Ptolemy, play some Christmas carols. While shepherds wash their socks by night, a rotten, stinking job. An angel for a laugh came down and showed them all his... Ptolemy, stop! <laughs> you have to bring it down to your level, did not you? <laughs> Personal call. Hello? Yes, this is Tatiana Batki speaking. Good morning. How can we help? I am receiving a call that you have recovered some goods of mine that bad men have stolen. Men? Batkis. Tatiana Batkis. 
really. It's common Lithuanian name in Lithuania. If you say so. It says here that you've lost an Olympic standard carbon fiber elite road racing bike. Da, that is mine. Hmm. What are you doing here? Did Mum. Oh, 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 so good to see you, young man. Oh, this is a wonderful officer. <laughs> My mum, she loves him. In the Lithuanian community, he is considered saint. <laughs> really? Well, uh, Saint Travis, would you mind helping Miss Butt kiss with her bike? <laughs> I thought you were going to grasp me up then. Shh. We're being watched. I can explain. Look, not here. Meet me in a cafe around the corner in 20 minutes. He's looking suspicious. You'd better get on your bike. <laughs> what? Have you seen that saddle? You could slice cheese with it. It'll look dodgy if you don't. It'll look dodgier if I do. <laughs> It. You didn't buy it. No. Look, I hate not being able to afford nice Christmas presents. So, last summer, I went round all the shops with one of those security pens. And I put a false name and my phone number on loads of stuff that I reckoned people would like. And I figured that if any of it got nicked, there was a chance that the old Bill would find my details and then Bob's your uncle and Tatiana's your auntie. It's still theft. Technically. I will take you in. You can't. You're not a real copper. I will be, though. Soon. And that's the career that you want, is it? Nicking your own flesh and blood? Your mum was so excited when you got into uni. What do you want to chuck it all for? I'm scared of not being able to stay the course. Law's really tough. Well, of course it is. If it weren't, then we'd all be lawyers charging 300 quid for one phone call. You've got good genes. Your dad was a criminal mastermind. And he only had O-level woodwork. I don't know. Police ain't such a bad career. Oh, fine. Join the filth, then. In which case, you're going to have to march me and your Christmas present down the station. My Christmas present? Mm. <laughs> I really want to do this, Mum. It's what Christmas should be about. What do you think, Dor? Oh, don't ask me. We were doing perfectly right until Jesus came along. <laughs> Hello. Night's Mrs. Stubbs. Who's calling? I'll see if she's in. Dunford, Marshall and Pierce. Monty's solicitors. Tell them I'm in Argentina. Argentina? No extradition treaty. <laughs> I'm sorry, she's just popped out. Yeah, yeah, she'll call you back. She's got your number. Tracy! How could you? Well, you've got to face up to things sooner or later, Dor. Not I had two with this ass. <laughs> oh, good. You're all here. I've got something to say. You've always got something to say. <laughs> Tracy, if this is going to be our last Christmas in this house, then I am willing to call a truce so that we can all sit around this table and enjoy a family Christmas together. Too late for that. What? You vindicted? Down to me, aren't you, Shao? <laughs> I volunteered to cook for the homeless on Christmas Day. And we're all going to help him. What? All of us? All of us. <laughs> what? I mean, why? Because it's the right thing to do. I've spent the last six weeks cooking Christmas lunches for pillocks who are too spoiled to even taste my food. So this year, I want to make a difference. Well said, Garth. Maybe we can do something together on Boxing Day. Oh, no. If we can't be together as a family on Christmas Day, then as far as I'm concerned, you can shove it. 
Proud of you, Lum. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you, Lot. Right, everyone ready? Door? Door. <laughs> Come and get it. Snowman brings the snow. Well, he just might like to know. He put a great big smile on somebody's face. Merry Christmas. Enjoy your lunch. When you jump into your bed. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, as I'll soon be homeless myself, I thought I'd come and make some contacts. <laughs> Extra stuff in balls for me, doll. Dolls, you know the sweet Santa Claus is on the way. Mr. Vicar, I'd lock up, so I'll leave this in the door, yeah? God, that looks ancient. If you had a fiver for every time someone said that to you. It's raining. Give me one. Ah, waterproof. <laughs> right, well, thanks for dinner. I better be off. Make a start on my packing. I'll give it a rest, shall. Travis told me you talked him in staying on at uni. Thanks. Yeah, well, I suppose I did. I was thinking, if I'd had had a decent education, I might not now be in the market for a sleeping bag and a mongrel on a string. <laughs> I'm stuck. That's because you've turned it the wrong way. <laughs> Oops. Oh, this church is 700 years old. That key has survived the Black Death, the Wars of the Roses, the Great Fire of London, the Blitz, and Redbridge Council's redevelopment scheme that ten seconds in your grubby little paws. <laughs> oh, that's great. The lights must be on a timer. Probably won't come on again till January. Look, I'll call Travis. He'll know what to do. I mean, he's almost a copper. Oh. No signal. Well, the walls must be four feet thick, which is only slightly thicker than Sharon. <laughs> Look, instead of having a pop at me, Dor, why don't you help us to find a way out? It's a crypt, a repository for the dead. One way in, no way out. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, have you found another way out? No, and the communion wine. <laughs> it's Christmas night. You've got to have a drink on Christmas night. <sighs> oh, oh, I've had better. There you go. I need something to warm me up. It's colder than the... The what? The grave. Don't. <laughs> Look, once the boys realise that we ain't at home, they'll come here and they'll find us frozen solid. I was going to wear my mink, but I thought I'd make the wrong impression on the dispossessed. <laughs> You're all heart, aren't you, Dor? Here, put this rug round your chest. No, you can't do that. It's a priceless medieval hanging. No, it's a priceless medieval draft excluder. 
There's a staircase behind here. Then dig it down. Dig it down. <laughs> <coughs> it must go up into the spire. You'll get a signal up there, Trace. I couldn't. Why not? I'm phasmaculophobic. <laughs> and in English, it means a morbid fear of spiral staircases. You used to go up the Helter Skelter where we went to Jay Wick Sands. You never had any trouble doing that. That was a clockwise spiral. It's anti-clockwise that affects me. Fascinating. Look, you go, Shao. It's too narrow for me. <laughs> if only one of us was a small... Wizened, golem like creature. <laughs> you got a signal yet, Dor? No! No! Oh, it's horrible up here! I've got spiders in my hair! Just take your wig off and give it a good shake. There's another door. Oh, thank God. It's stuck solid. You'll have to go up to the bell tower door. No, I don't think I can. There's a storm raging and I'm not dressed for it. Oh, go on, door. You can do it. Spiders. <laughs> I should be dead. Why aren't I dead? It's a Christmas miracle. Cheers. It's the shoes. What's the shoes? They've got rubber soles. Oh, thank God. No. They're supposed to be genuine Louboutins with leather soles. <laughs> I've just paid £500 for fakes. Well, I hope you're pleased with yourself, Tracy. Causing all this grief just so the boys can have a few bob. Well, of course I'm not. Do you think I'd be selling my home if I had a choice? I've got to. Why? Because I've been borrowing against it. What for? To fund my coke habit. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's joking. The past God knows how long, what's been coming into this house is only half of what's been going out. So selling up is my only option to get them off my back. Well, look on the bright side. They can't get you while you're stuck down here with us. You'll just die of hyperthermia. <laughs> I've got an idea. Come on. I thought you said the stairway was too narrow for you. No, I think I said it was probably too narrow. <laughs> now I'm saying it's probably not. <laughs> Come on. And what about her phasmaculophobia? Come on, Tracy. Go forward. Step. Step. Oh, go on, door. Oh, that's it. Oh, thanks, Sharon. Oh, oh, you can do it, door. Get through. That's it. Good girl. Oh. Okay, 
Trace? Is it your what's name phobia thingy? No, it's the bag we bought the onions in. <laughs> oh, we're no better off. Still no signal. Well, how are we going to attract the attention of the outside world? Right. <laughs> what are you doing? I am going to chuck this through that stained glass window. Brilliant. No, it's a priceless antiquity. Well, have you got any better ideas? <gasps> the organ. We'll use that to attract attention. <laughs> I didn't know you could play. I can't, but I do know one song. Wonderful. You're going to have to pump it. <laughs> Ready? Yes. <laughs> I'm not 100% up on my Christmas carols, but I'm pretty sure that's not one. <laughs> no, it's not! <laughs> Happy New Year. Is it? Carver? We can do better than that. We have to celebrate the new year. We are. We've got a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cheer up. There's the door. No, it's the microwave. I'm defrosting a prawn ring. <laughs> There's the door. Camilla, whatever brings you here on New Year's Eve? <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your celebrations. Don't worry. We're keeping it low-key this year. Yeah, yeah. Never mind about that. So, why are you here, Camilla? Well, funny you should ask. Don't tell me you're here to tell Mrs Dubbs you've had an offer on the house. Yes, that's exactly why I'm here. And is it for the full asking price? Why, yes, it is. <laughs> oh, thank God, that's amazing. I'll be able to afford a two-bedroom flat. You won't have to sleep on the camp bed, Shall. I was going to have to sleep on a camp bed. Well, except when the boys come round, then you'd have to sleep on the floor. <laughs> so, who's bought it? Have you had a little accident, or is there something you want to tell us? It's me. I bought the house. Thought so. Put the carver back in the fridge, Trace. She's finally gone gaga. <laughs> Sorry, Camilla, but she's more skint than we are. Thanks to dear old Monty, you couldn't be more wrong, Sharon. It turned out he always felt guilty about the way he treated me, and the more I ignored him, the guiltier he felt. So, when he died without any heirs... Oh, he was bald. <laughs> he left me a sizeable chunk of his not inconsiderable fortune. Oh, thank God. I thought I was going to lose my commission. I'm going to go straight back to the office and email you some details of some two-bedroom flats. It's New Year's Eve! Who says that estate agents are pushy? <laughs> Look, what are we going to do with all this furniture, Shall? Have a day off, Trace. Dorian ain't going to evict us. She's bought the house so we can all live here together. And why would she do that, Sharon? Yes, why would I do that, Sharon? <laughs> deep, deep down, Dorian is a good person. Good. Is that the best you can do? <laughs> and, um, and generous, warm-hearted. 
kind. <laughs> Selfless. <laughs> right, it's ten to twelve. We'll get a wiggle on, we can get down the pub in time for old Lang Syne. Come on. <laughs> Happy New Year! Year! What's going on? Jodie's mates got thrown out of the pub. Because they're homeless. <laughs> no, because they're skins. <laughs> so we brought the pub back here! <laughs> you don't mind, do you, Mum? No, of course not. But it's not your ass yet. Right, come on, everyone. Let's get laggy! <laughs> Two hours. Two hours. I can't believe everything's going to be exactly the same as it was before. It isn't. Not exactly. I think I should move into the master bedroom, Tracy. I mean, I am the freeholder now. Of course. And I have rather been neglecting my wardrobe of late. I need somewhere to store the mountain of new shoes I'm about to buy. <laughs> Box room, perhaps. Where am I going to go? Villa Ricky Tennis, tennis Club. <laughs> and keeping you festive this week with a cracking lineup fit for a prince with the Royal Variety performance tomorrow night at 7.30 and over on ITV3 tonight singing her heart out. Sheridan Smith is Scylla next.